Ta-da! I'm by Ta-da! I mean, welcome back to the Shelter Hunter channel, folks. Today I have a most... I know, I know, I'm wearing the same shirt as last week. I know. But it's coming no clean, I promise. But, I'm getting away from myself. I don't want to do that. I want today's episode to be super short, concise, to the point. Everything that some of you have been asking for. But what about the rest of you? What do you want? I'd love to know. Leave that in the comments below. And no, when you comment below, you automatically enter the <laughs> giveaway. The weekly giveaway. When you comment, like, and subscribe. Do those three things, and you're in. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We're going to be looking at a super duper hack that I came up with after it took me actually a few Caminos to really dial this in. And what I mean by that is maybe this is your first Camino you're planning for. And if so, lucky you, you don't have to go through what I went through. And maybe it's your third, second, fourth, fifth, whatever, 20th Camino, and you're still making the same mistake. And what is that same mistake? This. I can't even hold on to this stuff. This. Do you bring all these charger cords with you? You know, one for your iPod, one for your iPad, one for your iPhone, one for your laptop, one for your drone, whatever. One for your power cell. Yeah, we bring, well, some of us do. One for our watch. Okay, it's not going to help with your Apple Watch, this hack, but it's going to help with everything else. So you still don't need to bring that charger cord. But for the most part, I've got you covered, folks. You don't need to bring this stuff anymore. In fact, take this... Because that's where it should live. It just has no business being with you on the Camino. One, it weighs a lot. Two, it takes up a lot of space. A lot of space you could be using for other things, like newspaper and sheet foam. <laughs> Some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's cool. You will. When you follow on this channel and subscribe. Well, folks, I went from that pile, that crazy pile, that snake pit of cords, to this. Super simple. This red magical pouch. Yeah. The color's key as well, but probably not for the reason you think. Huh? Anyways, let's look what's inside. Here's my power pack, my universal, not universal, my European power pack. It's got multi-ports in it, though, at the end of the day, all you're taking with you is this one cord. This one cord does it all. So these extra ports is for making friends, or at least for not making enemies, because... Hey. Sometimes charging your phone can be a challenge. So, what do I mean by that? One cord. One cord does it all. This is a multi-port charger cord. This has USB, well, let's see. C to C, if you need that. Uh, maybe for your iPhone. It also has a lightning tip as well for your ear pods. <laughs> this is pretty much a tutorial for all Apple products so far. But it, these, obviously, these USBs fit other appliances, <laughs> other electronics as well. Then you have USB-A. So you could easily do, you know, USB-A to C to lightning, C to lightning, C to shining C. Options, folks. So I went from four cords to a four-in-one cord. This is by a brand called Shezzy. I highly, highly recommend this if you're a pilgrim like me bring extra cord just because you can sometimes get your charging cord and your power pack that happens i don't necessarily say bring two of these though you can find these really easy in most stores same thing with the cord so honestly at the end of the day just bring this it's a four one you're gonna use minimal space it does it all it'll work in the wall it'll also work with your power cell if you're charging during the course of the day i keep one of my, my sling bag i keep a power pack and i charge my phone while i'm walking sometimes that's like in places where people are charging their phone all together or the, ch the charging areas in another room where I can't see my phone. I'd rather charge a battery instead and charge my phone later that night in my sling bag, in my sleeping bag, or while I'm walking the next day, or your watch, whatever the case may be. If you don't want to leave, if you don't feel comfortable leaving your phone out there, at least leave a battery out there and charge it. And use the four-in-one multi-cord. This is the way, folks. Now, Jesse also makes a coiled cord as well. 
which looks pretty cool. I actually use this one at home. All the same options. It has a magnet here too, which could be cool, I guess, for uh, doing this. I don't know what that's for. If you know, leave it in the comments below because I'm dying to know. But the coiling feature, however, I thought this was going to be great in my sling bag. It's not. It's just too bulky and clumsy. It doesn't break down as small as the other one. So, I mean, if you have space for it and you like this, there you go. But Chezzy is the brand. I'll have a link below, too. I'm sure there's other ones out there. Just look for 4-in-1 charger cord, and that should lead you there. To make it easy on you, I'll put a link below. Now, you may remember I mentioned red. The pouch must be red. It sounds like I'm speaking code, right? I'm not. Well, kind of am. Some of you might know why. Folks, this is the key. One, it's easy to identify, to see. It's red. It's bright. It attracts bulls. So keep it in your backpack during the day. And don't walk through the fields like this. Toro, toro. Don't ever do that. Aside from the absurd, is um, pack this close to the top of your backpack or even a side pocket. I keep my water on this side. Keep my charger on that side. So as soon as I get to the hotel, I immediately grab this and plug everything in and get going with everything else just so I can get that out of the way. And that said, when I do plug in the charger, this is another tip on a tip, is I will run the cord through the loop of the bag. Make sure whatever pouch you're using, be it a zipper pouch or a pouch pouch, has a loop of some sort on it that you can pass your cord through. And then when you plug it in, it's there. Because in the morning, in the dark or the pseudo dark, it's tough to find things. So you want everything close at hand. If this is always attached to your cord, it makes getting out of there faster and you're going to be less disruptive to the other pillows sleeping around you when you're, yeah, going through all that craziness. So keep your stuff together by threading the cord through the cord. Okay, now back to why red? No, it really has nothing to do with bulls. Some albergues have a really cool feature when it comes to their bunks. Some bunks have curtains, some bunks are pods, some bunks are better than others, some bunks are made out of metal, some bunks are made out of wood. There's all different types of bunks out there, but a, a new trend, it seems, is installing one of these bad boys into the bunk. It's great for packing up at night, so you're ready the next day to just grab your backpack and get the hell out the door, or it's great for finding stuff, or it's great for reading. If you're like going over your, the trail for the next day, you're using a good old-fashioned guidebook, like some of us still do, this light is for you. It's awesome. Uh, however, it's not awesome at five in the morning when someone's alarm will go off because people still set their phone alarms, even though they're sharing a room with eight other people or 18 other people. Put it on silent alarm, folks. Just put it on silent alarm. But more than that, don't turn the freaking light on. Why are you making that decision for everyone else to get up at that time? It's crazy pants and it's just rude. So don't do that. But if you are going to do that, that's where this comes in. right? It's awesome. I came up with this on my last Camino because I have a red light on my phone. If you've subscribed to this channel and you've been watching all my tips, tricks, and hacks up until this point, you know that I put a lot of red light features onto my phone. You know what I'm talking about? I am referring to this video. Check it out. Anyways, so with the red light on my phone, I would often, you know, if there was a, a cabinet or something like that in my little space, you know, some albergues, the bunks are in cubicles. So it'll be like four bunks, four bunks in a cubicle. When this idea hit me, I was in my own cubicle. No one else was there. It was at the end of all the cubicles, so it was just two bunks. And I had like my own little space. I would take my phone, put it on the red light, and put it on like a shelf or on my bunk pointing at me so I could see. It would illuminate everything red in that area. It looked like I was developing film. It felt like I was developing film. But what I was doing was developing a hack to share with you now as I'm doing. But it was a great way to just pack up and make sure I had everything without disturbing any other pilgrims. Super hack. Yeah, so while you can probably find or buy a pouch like this, I couldn't find one, but I'm sure you can. They might make zipper pouches too that are red. My only problem with that is a lot of them are thick ripstop materials, so it's not going to illuminate as much as you'd like it to. So I went for this thin red ripstop kite material. It's kite ripstop, I guess you could say. It's all-weather kite material for people that want to fly a kite in all-weather. I mean, hey, if you're a founding father, that might be a thing for you to look into. But more importantly, it makes for great pouch material. Red pouch slash instant red light material. As you know, I, I'm a DIY type of guy. I hand-stitched this. This, did, this took very little talent. It took a needle and thread. That's it, folks. Red thread I chose to use because, hey, I stick to the theme. 
And then there's just stretchy, elasticy black cord and one of those push button sliders. That's it, folks. That's it. This probably took me about, and it looks like it took me about 10 minutes to make. I just cut it out to size to fit this. That might take a little bit of trial and error. Don't worry. The ripstop, it's cheap and you get a lot of it so you can afford to make some mistakes. If you don't know how to make a little pouch like this, it's very intuitive. I, I will have a link for this material below, but if you can find red material, go for it. Just make sure it's thin red material so that light can pass through it. Okay, so what if you don't want to do any of that, but still really enjoy this tip and want to turn this light into a red light? Well, folks, you always just use a red Ziploc bag. Yeah, I'll have a link below for this too. They do sell this online. You keep your stuff in this. It's not a loud one. It's not super crinkly because the red, the plastic is thicker. But there you go. Instant red light. Now you can pack up in the morning without forgetting or overlooking anything. You know where all your power cords are and the pouch at least because you've threaded it through the cord. Boom! And that's today's tip, folks. That was pretty fast. I mean, for me, it was fast. And it was packed. It was packed with action satisfaction and hearty tips and hacks which by this point you know that's what i'm all about here on the sheltered channel again if you want to take your chance at winning this bad boy like comment and subscribe your comment can be as simple as one camino or count me in for that cool ass flag or maybe i don't know start a conversation if you have your own tips tricks and hacks when it comes to red lights or power cord hacks i'd love to hear about them Remember, YouTube is a form of social media. It is. In fact, it's filed under social media. So let's socialize. Let me know your tips. Clearly, you got mine. I'll show you mine if you show um It always gets awkward. Maybe it's the red light. There we go. One coming up.